We're back and we're looking at question three. Question three, part E. It says express four sine theta plus three cos theta. And it says express it in the form R sine theta plus alpha. Now, all we need to do is we need to just remember the formula R. R is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared, so it's four squared plus three squared. That's 16 plus nine, that's 25. The square root of 25 is five. Then alpha is equal to tan inverse of B over A. Tan inverse three over four, which is I don't know what that is, so I'm going to teleport for the calculator. All right, I'm back for the calculator. So we'll plug that in, tan inverse of three over four, tan inverse of three over four, in degrees, it's 36.9. Then the question, what degrees or radians? They didn't state if they want degrees or radians, so you can keep it in either one. I'm going to keep it in degrees. So it's 36.9 degrees. So we can therefore say, therefore, 4 sine theta plus 3 cos theta is equal to R, which is 5, sine theta plus 36.9 degrees. How much marks they giving us for that? How much marks? They give us five marks for this. That's five marks. Now the second part says hence solve Four sine theta plus three cos theta equal two. Oh, but the next part right. is in radians. So it is better to put this in radians. 36.9 degrees, we're just gonna put it in radians. Put it in radians. We'll put it in radians, it is tan inverse three over four is 0 0.644. That's it in radians. So you can write, rewrite that in radians. So the second part says, hence, so now part two, we're supposed to solve four sine theta plus three cos theta equal two. So that implies what we're gonna solve is five sine theta plus 0 0.644 radians equal to two. First thing we can do is divide both sides by 5 to get the sine of theta plus 0 0.644 equal to 2 over 5. When you get this now, you take sine inverse. But first thing, remember, where is sine positive? When you draw your circle, sine is positive here and here in the first and the second quadrant. So when you get two possible answers, one possible answer is theta plus, one possible answer, theta plus 0 .0 0 0.644 is equal to sine inverse of 2 over 5. That's one answer. Or the next answer is theta plus 0 0.644 is equal to pi minus the sine inverse of 2 over 5. Two options. So check out what is sine inverse of 2 over 5. Sine inverse 2 over 5. Sine inverse 2 over 5 is 0 0.412. And 
pi minus sine inverse of this, pi minus, that's 2.73. So from these two, right? So from these two, let's just finish it off here. From these two, we have theta plus 0 0.644 equal to 0 0.41. From this, this one right here, not gonna give us any solution. But we have 0 0.41. That won't give us any solution because if we bring it over, we're going to end up getting theta equal to some negative number. So this one is not valid. Not valid because theta, the answer is supposed to be between 0 and 2 pi. So from the second one down here now, where we have theta plus 0 0.644 is equal to 2.73, we can subtract 0 0.644 from both sides. We get theta equal 2.73 minus 0 0.644 is, all right, that's decimal, minus 0 0.644, we get 2.086. That's the answer. So the final answer, just to put it down somewhere, 2.08, that's the answer in radians. 2.08, that's the answer where theta is between 0 and 2 pi. And we'll give away 5 marks for that. Now, so that's the answer, 2.08, we'll get 5 marks for it. Part B says, given that the cos of A, so the cosine of A is 12 over 13, just to draw Guys, it's good to get an idea of what's going on. Cos is 12 over 30. Draw a triangle. This is the angle A. The opposite is 12. The hypotenuse is 13, so the adjacent must be 5. It's a 5, 12, 13 triangle. So just by looking at it, they give you cos A. You already know that sine A is 5 over 13. Just a head start. Then they tell us that the sine of C is... The sine of C is 5 over 13. If the sine of C is 5 over 13, you can draw a triangle. This is C. The opposite is 5. The hypotenuse is 13, so the adjacent must be 12. So that means that the cos of C must be 12 over 13. Okay. Now it says calculate the cos of A minus C. Now the cos of A minus C is cosine A cosine C plus the sine of A times the sine of C. Now the cos of A, 12 over 13, times the cos of C, 12 over 13, plus the sine of A, 5 over 13, times the sine of C, 5 over 13. We we'll work this out, we get 12 times 12 is 144, over 13 squared is 169, plus 5 times 5 is 25, over 13 times 13 is 169, 144 plus 25 is 169, over 169, so the answer is 1. So therefore, the cos of A minus C is equal to 1. That's the final answer for the cos of A minus C. Wow! That's the value of the cos of A minus C, 1. And they're giving away seven yeah. marks. Nice. We literally didn't do anything, but we got seven marks. Now there's an alternate method to do this. Should we do the alternate? Let's do the alternate. This is method two. What you can say is that A is cos inverse of 12 over 13, and C is sine inverse of 5 over 13. And so all you need to do is to work out cos A minus C. So all you tell them is the cos of A minus C is equal to the cosine of, and put in bracket, cos inverse of 12 over 13 minus sine inverse of 5 over 13. So you put all of that in a calculator, and guys, the calculator is very smart. The calculator is extremely smart. Cos inverse 
12 over 13 minus sine inverse 5 over 13 and I get 0 and then I just take when I work out in this bracket I get 0 then I just work out the cos of 0 so I end up getting the cos of 0 and the cos of 0 is 1 so that's method 2 so you need to draw the triangle and do all of that stuff. So that's method two. You could have just write down that A is cos inverse that, C is sine inverse that. Later that you get a seven mark. So it's really up to you. Anyway you prefer to do it, just make sure you have fun with it. Nice. All right, part C. All right, part C says we're supposed to solve the equation. The cos of theta equal to the sine of theta minus pi by 3. We're supposed to solve this equation for theta. Now that means we have cos theta is equal to, expand this with sine theta, cos pi by 3, minus cos theta, sine pi by 3. Now the cos of pi by 3 is, cos of 60 is a half, so this becomes a half sine theta, minus the sine of pi by 3 is, root 3 over 2, that's root 3 over 2 cos theta equal cos theta. Now, look at this. We can divide through by cos theta. Hmm. We can divide through by cos theta. If we divide through by cos theta, cos theta over cos theta is 1. Sine theta over cos theta is tan theta, so you get a half tan theta minus cos theta over cos theta is 1, so you get minus root 3 over 2. So you bring this over here, root 3 over 2 to get 1 plus root 3 over 2 is equal to a half of the tan of theta. And then you can multiply through by 2 to get 2 plus root 3 is equal to tan theta. So now 2 plus root 3 equal tan theta. You can draw your circle. Remember where tan is positive, first and third quadrant. So therefore, theta is equal to tan inverse 2 plus root 3. And another answer is theta equal to pi. This is pi minus, this is pi plus. Pi plus tan inverse of 2 plus root 3. So the final answers, if you want to put it here, are theta equal tan inverse 2 plus root 3 so 2 plus root 3 tan inverse that I'm going to put it in degrees just for now degrees tan inverse of 2 plus root 3 I get 75 degrees or theta equal pi plus or 180 plus 180 plus 75, 255 degrees. Now the question didn't say to put it in radians. Let me check. Now it didn't tell me to put it in radians, so I kept my answer in degrees. Those are the answers. 75 degrees or 255 degrees. I didn't put it in radians because they didn't ask me to. Now you can check back the answer. What's the cost of 70? Oh. You know, this is crazy guys. Please put your answer in radians. Don't follow me. The question up here at pi by 3. So clearly it must be in radians. So even though I have it in, let's put it in radians. 75 degrees in radians is what? Um, remember that pi is 180. Pi is 180 degrees. So 75 is x. So x is... 75 over 180 times pi. What's that? 75 over 180 is 5 over 12. So 75 degrees, this is 5 over 12 pi. All right. And this one is 255 over 180. 255, that is 17. So this is 17 pi, 17 pi over 12. All 
all right? So that's the answer, guys. We need to say it is 5 pi by 12. We have to tell them theta equal 5 over 12 pi or 17 pi over 12. That's the answer. The of theta. Now, this is if. This is if theta is between 0 and 2 pi. This is for theta being between 0 and 2 pi. Now they didn't tell me a range that they wanted theta to be in between. So that is why I put those two options. And they said solve the equation. Now, because they didn't put a range for theta, what I would do is give them the general solution. Just to be safe, give them the general solution. So tell them the general solution just to be safe, you can tell them that theta, just to be safe, guys, we always want to be safe. The general solution would be 5 over 12 pi plus n pi or theta equal 17 over 12 pi plus n pi. Just to be safe, give them the general solution. But they didn't specify any range of theta. Now look what I'm saying, you can try it now. Try theta as 75 degrees. Remember pi by 3 is 60. So what we're saying is the cost. If you try 75, I like when you test it, testing it out, it should be saying the cost of 75 is equal to the sign of 75 minus 60 is 15. If this equation works, then you need it is true. Cost of 75, 0.28. 0.258 sine of 15, 0.258 it work, so answer true. So guys, always test your answers, always test it. So this is indeed true. So that's the answer there, and it's 8 marks for this question. 8 easy marks. Nice. Alright guys. Stay tuned for the next part, question 4.